167.5. Good evening, this is Lisa. I am here to talk about my daily healthy living. I just finished my exercise for the evening again. I have my bottle of water because we all know it's important to drink our water. And I am drinking half my weight in ounces of water a day. So that equals like three liters. So this is my third liter and I would encourage you to go get your liter of water right now and you can drink with me so we can both have better health. I am wanting to vlog my weight loss journey and share with you the mental side of weight loss because I feel like there's a lot of stuff online and a lot of information that you can get that has to do with diet and exercise but not a lot of it talks about your mental health and the mental side of things. And I have realized that I need to work I needed to work a lot on my mental health and my mental mm, what connection with food for one thing and my habits with food in order to lose weight I couldn't just jump into a diet because my mind was not ready for that yet so I started very slowly with intermittent fasting if I haven't mentioned that before and now I'm, I, I'm feeling more positive about things, about exercise, about my life. So I just kind of want to share the daily journey and the mental side of trying to lose weight. Today I did pretty good with my food because I was, well, it's my day off and I have a hobby now. I have realized that is a huge thing for weight loss is finding a hobby or a passion that does not involve food. So I was busy doing my hobby all day. I didn't really have that much time to eat. And so I just had a lunch and supper. And now that I'm trying to exercise lots, like every day almost, or at least, you know, four to five days a week, I am trying to choose food that is healthier so it doesn't like counteract my dot or my exercise. So today my husband and I went to Costco and then he said you want to eat like something at the Costco like food cafeteria. And then we decided not to because I didn't want to want to to eat any of the junk there and they have they had Caesar salad which I could have eaten but we had Caesar salad at home so we just went home and ate better which was awesome for our financial goals too though Costco has like the cheapest meal you can probably eat a hot dog and a pop for three dollars I think it is or something or a dollar fifty two hot dogs and two pops for three dollars something like that anyways I'm off on a tangent now So, what do I want to say today? After I was finished exercising, I felt so accomplished. I think exercising, I still don't think exercising is helping me lose any weight. I don't see any results on the scale, but it does help my mental health. Oh yes, that's another thing I wanted to mention. The reason I'm so worried about getting to 140 pounds and why I'm not just happy with like eating healthy and exercising is because I want to have a healthy BMI and I know BMI is not always accurate but I carry a lot of weight around my stomach area which would make me like an apple shape and that type of body is more susceptible to diabetes and heart disease. And diabetes always run, already runs in my family. My father was just recently diagnosed with diabetes and his mother had diabetes. So 
that is why I want to actually focus on the numbers. But I do want to say if you're trying to lose weight and on a weight loss journey and you're mentally upset with yourself because you're so much bigger than you would want to be. I was at that point at one time and now I, lo I have lost just over half the weight I need to lose. But I don't need to get to the end goal for my mental health to feel way better. I feel way better about myself and my choices. I think that's the biggest thing is like you have to be proud in your choices every day that you're choosing to feed your body well, you're choosing nutrition, and then you're trying to exercise or any kind of exercise you're adding into your day, even if you walk a block further than you need to to get to work or something like that. Just little by little, you're improving your health and that helps with the mentality a lot, I think. You need to focus on the improvements, not on the failures. Just improve little by little by little and eventually you'll get there. And there's, it's not really a race. Like I have realized like I'm not going anywhere. Try, choosing to be healthier in my life is just something that I want to do for the rest of my life. So hopefully I have a while to be here. So I don't need to get to 140 pounds tomorrow. I, even if I lose three pounds a month this year, I'll get to it by the end of 2019 which, you know, seems like such a slow weight loss, but it's a healthy weight loss. And if you're maintaining your weight loss, that's awesome. That's the other thing I think we need to remember is when we're plateau, if we're still maintaining any amount of weight that we lost, that's a success. So let's just be proud of the good choices we're making and encouraged by the improvement and do not feel bad about the bad choices just keep moving forward and do not feel ashamed of yourself because that's just a waste of energy <laughs> oh yes and one more thing i don't know if i mentioned this yesterday but i am learning this right now that i am allowed to be frustrated with my weight loss journey but if i want to continue to be successful i have to take that frustration and turn it into motiv motivation or positive thinking and use that frustration to really be honest with myself and see if I can improve more. And usually the answer is yes. Yes, I can improve more. I did not do as well as I could with my diet and then just start over and try again and do better the next time. So I think that's all I'm going to say about my chat today. I'll just finish drinking my water. If you have any comments about what helps you mentally to stay on track for your weight loss, please comment down below and let me know. Also, if you want to stay on track with me and my weight loss journey, please press subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.